this is a review of Clearview RC Flight Sim on the Android market. I will first show you the T Rex 450 app. You have three different settings for flight difficulty, and you have three different flying sites to choose from. This is the first flying site with the advanced settings for 3D flight. It is a lot more responsive on this setting and very hard to get used to the controls. I'll try a loop here. Whoa. <sighs> yeah. The graphics are very good and it runs very good on the Joy 2. Oh, and it also crashes pretty good. I'll try flying inverted here. Pretty touchy. This is a very fun app. Oh, I oh no, just grape. Let's try a backwards loop. Uh, did that pretty good. And now, oh. That was on purpose to show you the crash, by the way. Definitely on purpose. I will now show you a different setting and flying site. Let's change it to beginner, intermediate, advanced, beginner. Um, this one looks good. On this setting, the helicopter is a lot less responsive and a lot easier to fly. I really like how he has the control set up. Wherever you place your finger on the screen is the center of the stick. And if you pick it up and move it, that is the new center for the stick. I have had Clearview on my computer for a few years now, and I am very impressed with how well he converted it to an app or phone. Now this is supposed to be a tablet app, but as you can see it runs pretty good on my phone and I don't have a tablet, which I wish it did, but yeah. Alright, that is the T-Rex 450 app. I will now show you another one. This is the Blade CX. A lot easier to fly. And come on reset the thing. Okay, a lot easier to fly. As you can see, there are actually sticks on this one, which you put your thumb on and control. I actually like the other controlling better. This app also has objects in it, as you can see. You can interact with them, knock them over, try landing on them, just keep yourself entertained. Again, the graphics are great. This helicopter is very stable. If you take your hands off the stick, it will just go back to centered and hover there for you. I'll try landing on this box here, and I missed. Oh, no, the phone straight. Sorry about that. Uh, try not to. You can never hit the object unless you aren't trying. That's why I found out. Try land on this. I just knock it. I have landed on that before, but it takes a great deal of skill, which I don't have right now. Alright, I will show you the final app. This is a Coast Guard CX thing. I'm not exactly sure. It behaves a lot like the CX. It's easy to fly. Has the same control. It's a little more sensitive, I think. We'll hit the ground kind of hard. This is a different flying field with this app. 
and it also has the objects around it. The helicopter looks good. Each app is separate and costs money, which isn't very good. I wish they were all one, but I think it's worth the one ninety nine I paid for it. This is actually the first app I ever purchased on the market. Didn't think I ever would, but it was pretty cool. Pretty nice having a flight simulator in your pocket for when you're bored doing whatever you do in your life. This one has a cool little landing pad, which hopefully I can land on. And that's the Clearview app in a nutshell. Pretty cool app and I would recommend it to anyone into RCs.